In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make ketogenic muffin. This is service suggestion. You can make sandwich the way you like. Get a microwavable cup, and about quarter or one fifth of the cream cheese bar. Dump it into the cup and uh, put in the microwave for 30 seconds. Let it soften. We're going to add ingredients after the cream cheese is softened. I never heard anybody does it with cream cheese, so I'll have to share it, you know, with my subscribers. This is the almond flour. Almond flour. 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 Meal. I forgot to add uh, coconut oil to my cream cheese. There you go. About one tablespoon of coconut oil. I'll finish microwaving it. And you'll get to the fun part. Get your hands dirty. You don't have to get your hands dirty. Just figurative speech. I could also say, roll your sleeves up. Roll up your sleeves. Alright. You need a measuring spoon though. Measure two tablespoons of co coconut not coconut coconut flour everybody can count to two I can't I got two and a half for some reason alright two spoons don't make a mess now we're gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder Nobody has it at the house, but once you buy it, you don't know what to do with it. So, use it for this recipe. So far we have cream cheese, coconut oil, coconut flour. This is sweetener, Splenda. Optional, but uh, because it's cinnamon muffin, that's why I think a little bit of sweetener helps. And pinch of cinnamon. There you go. One more ingredient and yes, egg. One egg. All right. Some people love cracking eggs, some people hate it. As long as it's successful, there is no complaints. So you can mix it with the fork. I just thought maybe I show off with my kitchen utensils and I used that whisker okay it goes to the microwave for two minutes not 90 seconds not one minute that's what you will get in the end of two minutes it's often a little bit wet on the bottom but it doesn't matter because we're gonna toast it who doesn't like toasted bread for the sandwich don't worry it will work out you see still hot but you already can split it in two like any sandwich or burger bun and you're gonna toast it or you can fry toast it on a frying pan you the boss and also I'm gonna get ingredients for the sandwich now So you can stick it in a toaster. I have a crisper pizza. Uh, I would say it's pizza crisper uh, rack. That's what it looks like. And I stick it in a toaster oven. Okay. Do you smell bacon? I can't smell because I have very good airproof container that I keep my bacon fresh and my you see it has even drip rock so bacon not sitting in a water it's on water and I'm gonna bake it in the infrared oven if you are interested watch my video how to make perfect bacon all right this is a frying pan with little bit of coconut oil and the purpose of it is to fry one egg to topple the sandwich with the egg. 
I'm gonna make medium hit, cover it with the lead after I season it. And wait till it hits through and yolk doesn't run away, runny, but not runs away. And hot for the touch. This is my favorite flavoring, seasoning, it's called, I will put the link in description. There you go. Egg is ready to topple the sandwich. And uh, also, I have a few slices of bacon. By the way, I'm gonna leave the link for that bacon tray too. It's amazing utensil for the keto dieter. It's a half inch short for American bacon because it was designed somewhere in New Zealand or something but the tray itself really good all right that's what it's gonna look like when you finish with it before you eat it happy